It's Korea's cutest car. The adorable. Beautiful. Snow White. Caspar. Oh, come on, Caspar. Oh, red light. Come on, Caspar. <laughs> oh shit, it's a bit of a and we have this retro look. Yeah, this this retro look. I'm in the retro ages. This is 90s. This looks like the first cast that I got. <laughs> All this fake swoopiness and like a, I could imagine it having a radio cassette in here or something. And these door trims that look like a Suzuki Jimmy or something. And these really cool lights in here. It is. Korea's cutest car, the Caspar. We are in the one liter turbo version. We have a digital dash, which is cool on like a, like a very basic model or what should be a very basic model. Kind of tricked me here. Okay, these red lights are never red lights in Korea. Not always, you know? I don't know, I'm running red lights maybe. Who knows? Cars. This is a red light, but in Korea, somehow you can go for red lights if they're flashing. We have the this steering wheel and you're allowed to go like there's just something really fun about Korea that allows you to run red lights on occasion let's give it some here we go come on Caspar come on okay the turning corners in the Caspar are we no we're going straight come on you can get through come on Caspar we're doing red lights Shit. Casper will hook us up, but well let's go into sport mode. And we have no emblem or any kind of insignia on this, and I don't want to be in snow mode. I think we have our heated seats on. We take them off for a second at least. Sport. Normal. Sport. Let's see what sport does. Maybe we can find that Lambo again. Let's see if Casper can take on the Lambo. I would like to start down there and see if we can. The temperature controls are pretty intuitive. It is a free cylinder, so it does feel a little bit gruff, but I like the gruff in here, like a little bit of like a shaky idle, like it's got a cam in it. We have like blind spot warning. We have a lot of technology in the thing, and that's great. Nobody can run into a Casper. Don't worry about me. It's just not possible to run into a Casper. Yeah, I really love the interior, especially this model with the blue and two-toned interior. I should have went somewhere. Well, come on, Casper. We're going to the high-speed bit, Casper. Am I going the wrong way? I'm going over like a Bampo bridge or something. Oh, shit. That's not a good way. Okay. Casper's in trouble. Caspar, come on, Caspar, how could you do this to me? How did you lose the way, Caspar? How did you lose the way? Oh, no, it's got decent pickup. I get out of this. I'll just go for it. see Casper go through there but here we go this way and uh, let's see the, the north to 1000 of the Casper oh Casper come on Casper every kind of interior really orange up Casper hang on Casper <laughs> how do we go here we go orange up Gaya is that right yep okay um, okay, I think this is taking us back on the bridge, I think, some other way. Thank you. Everybody lets Casper in. Casper's a friendly ghost. Casper's a friendly ghost, that's why. Here you get a kick down in its little sport mode. Oh, yeah, that's okay. Let's see what it can do. I really love just this. The interior kind of reminds me of like a like a 90s car. It's really like it, it, 
it's, it's quite scary. It's quite scary that my era is retro now. <laughs> Cool. Like we've got heated seats here and cooled seats for the driver, but for the passenger, yeah, we don't get that. We have traction, we can change it to snow, mud, and sand. <laughs> like, um, what are we on with the traction? Yeah, we don't need any of that. You know, we're two wheel drive, it's, it's a little bit. Um, so we've even got like a bit of a dirty car, like it's been off-road, it's been doing its thing. It's been off-road, doing its thing, and it's mud, it's doing its Casper thing. We have USB in here, fast charging, that would be for your Google Play, CarPlay, and all of your different Apple Plays and things. We do going left, Ninja, Corolla, okay, Goya, and what have we got to do here? We've got to, we've got to go around this roundabout, yep, I know that. Yep, we don't want to get running into people, and that would be a bad move. Yep, and we want to go left, around here, straight. Okay, we want to go straight, okay. Give it a bit, come on Casper! Oh, shit Casper, you Don't do that to me. You're in normal mode. We need sport. We need sport for this. We're going to need this. The police can't catch Casper. This gruff sound from the free cylinder. Sounds like you're in like a 1700 horsepower Casper. We have all the back here, these. I really like these pressings in the doors. They're really retro. It feels like the cars that were around when I started driving, which is a little bit while ago, which is like the 90s. Of course, it doesn't pull very well from uh, 100, and I can't keep up with like 3.3 liter G80s, and uh, can't take on end model Konas and stuff, you know. <laughs> It can only serve as like uh, annoyances to these cars. See, like everywhere you look in this car, everything just looks cute. It's just a molding it but for the side mirror, but it looks cute. <laughs> Every single thing in here is cute. Auto, we have all of your different controls. They all look just so cute. Casper. Casper's on the run. <laughs> Okay, that's the correct way. So we go down here. Yep, okay, here comes Casper. Let's see, a little bit of like a 10, 20, okay, see 15 to 100. <laughs> that was like a beep to say, oh, sorry, you got airborne. Doesn't roll too much. Not too much body roll. I think down here on like Hell Corner, I'm gonna like use two hands because it is, does body roll a little. <laughs> it's like North Korea there. Yeah, that's North Korea over there. Oh, it's a comfortable car, even on the highway like this. The adaptive cruise control. Now lane keeping, let's try. Can we lane keep now? Okay. Yeah, we're auto steering. Casper, drive yourself. Drive yourself, Casper. Yeah. Oh, Casper. Casper's driving itself. Cool. Casper. I think this corner needs two hands in the little old Casper. kind of roll a bit but you know it gets around the corner better than I expected the 
hey, it gets around the corner better than I expected, and I'm glad I used two hands, you know. <laughs> it does body roll a bit. <laughs> so this is like one of the competitors here, the Kia Ray. The Kia Ray is much more higher. They're about the same width. But Hyundai, like people in, people in Korea, they love small cars so much that Hyundai has never bothered to make one. <laughs> They've never had any need to because in Korea you can have a look around like, you know, that's a SM7, a Samsung SM7. We've got a Grander over there, we've got like an Audi over here, an Audi, we've got a big, you know, van here. Let, show me all the little cars. If we're in the middle of Japan right now, all we would have is little cars. But yeah, the Koreans, they, they don't want a little car. <laughs> but this is maybe changing their minds because now you can get Ebek or ship discount on your oil, petrol, gas, whatever you want to call it. And you can get discounts on car registration, discounts on insurance, everything, just by having one of these cars. It's still not enough. People would pay like triple just to get like they do. They pay like triple or five times to get like a bigger car. But it's there if you want it. Yeah, and the problem is, like in our country, is that um, you just can't have little cars anymore. We don't have cheap cars anymore. Okay, so that is the Casper. It feels fine. The free spi the the free cylinder motor. I, I kind of like free cylinder motors because they feel a little bit gruff and they they kind of sound a little bit more like a seventeen hundred horsepower triple turbocharged engine but the thing goes okay it's fine it it didn't actually feel it, it's not as bad as i thought it would i i remember the bad old days when they had all these cars with cvt transmissions and something like 100 horsepower it's got 100 horsepower 75 kilowatts something like that a thousand kilos it feels fine as long as you're not up over 100 and trying to do anything like accelerate hard from 100 you're fine it's a great city car sounds cool and it can take corners <laughs> a little <laughs> a little bit body rolly through them corners but it, it does something and yeah it's a pretty nice place to be I'm sure that a lot of people in countries where a very small car like this makes a lot of sense will really love this car. It's Casper's face. We have some front seats. What do we want to do with them? We want to put them down all the way and make a table. We can like we could we could make an office here. We get on our computers and start hammering away, writing writing cute stories. <laughs> Every single seat in the thing folds back. What we can do is we can just lean back. Yeah, I'm in this tiny little car now, but look at all this space that I've got. That is really wicked. I'm I I don't think I've had this much space in a car. <laughs> back seats. They slide forwards and backwards. They slide forwards and backwards. So if you're not taking any cargo with you, you can slide them around in, in any position that you like. You might have a bunch of cargo in here. You can put them all the way forward. And there we go. We've got forward seats and sleep. It's just like the GV60. Wicked, really, really cool. Yeah, it's really, really cool in here. So what we have is now just a, just a full table. What do we want to do with the table? What's in here? Little secret hiding spot to put some things in here. Maybe a bit of storage. And what we can actually do as well is we can actually fold down every single seat and make it into a kind of bed, like a lounge room. This is what Hyundai is doing. Things that are that are really, really interesting. Yeah, so now we have like a like a bed. We have a bed. Somebody can lay down here. So we can pull forward these seats as well. And there we go. We have almost a full bed. Now, the piece de resistance, the main party trick is 
to put this one back. Aha, okay. Wow, that is wicked. Wow, that is so cool. <laughs> 